Carl Malone. Carl Anthony Malone, born on July 24, 1963, is a retired American professional basketball player renowned for his career in the National Basketball Association (NBA). Known as the Mailman, he is widely regarded as one of the premier power forwards to have ever played in the NBA. Spending the entirety of his initial 18 seasons, 1985 to 2003, with the Utah Jazz, Malone formed a formidable partnership with fellow player John Stockton. He earned two NBA Most Valuable Player Awards, participated in the NBA All-Star Game 14 times, and was selected for the All-NBA First Team 11 times. With a total of 36,928 points scored throughout his career, Malone ranks third in NBA history behind LeBron James and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Furthermore, he holds records for the most free throws made and attempted, as well as the most regular season game started. Additionally, Malone shares the second most first-team All-NBA selections with Kobe Bryant, trailing only LeBron James. Net Worth and Houses Carl Malone has an estimated net worth of $55 million. He amassed this impressive sum from his successful NBA career, endorsements, wrestling, acting, and business ventures. Besides that, he owns two car dealerships in Utah and one in Louisiana. He also owns a multi-million mansion in Ruston, Louisiana, among others. Early Life Hailing from Summerfield, Louisiana, Malone hailed as the youngest among nine siblings, was brought up on a farm solely by his mother, Shirley, after his father, Shedrick Hay, who had a separate family, tragically took his own life when Carl was 14 years old. This fact remained undisclosed by Malone until 1994. During his upbringing, Carl frequently assisted on the farm, engaged in tasks such as chopping trees, hunting, and fishing. He pursued his education at Summerfield High School, where he notably led his basketball team to victory, securing three consecutive Louisiana Class C titles from 1979 until his final year in 1981. Despite being sought after by Eddie Sutton, the basketball coach at the University of Arkansas, Malone opted to attend Louisiana Tech University due to its proximity to his home. Initially, his grades prevented him from playing in his freshman year, so he joined the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs basketball team during his second year, under the guidance of coach Andy Russo. During his sophomore season, 1983-84, Malone demonstrated his prowess by averaging 18.7 points and 9.3 rebounds per game. Louisiana Tech had a remarkable season in 1984-85, finishing with a record of 29-3 and clinching the top spot in the Southland Conference, marking the school's inaugural appearance in the NCAA Tournament, where they reached the Sweet 16 round. Throughout his tenure with the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, spanning three seasons, Malone consistently earned recognition as an All-Southland player. Personal Life Carl Malone tied the knot with Kay Kinsey, crowned Miss Idaho USA in 1988, on Christmas Eve in 1990. Their family expanded to include four children, Katie, born November 8, 1991, Kylie, born April 7, 1993, Carl Jr. KJ, born May 8, 1995, and Carly, born in 1998. KJ pursued football at LSU and earned an invitation to the 2018 NFL Combine. In 1998, the Globe tabloid reported on paternity lawsuits involving Malone. Allegedly, he was implicated in paternity claims by Bonita Ford, his contemporary from Summerfield, Louisiana, and Gloria Bell, who was just 13 when she gave birth. Malone acknowledged fathering the four twins when he defied a court order regarding financial disclosure and DNA testing. Subsequently, he settled the legal matters privately. Although Malone contested Bell's paternity ruling due to its financial implications, the lawsuit was settled confidentially before his appeal was heard. Despite initial estrangement, Malone eventually acknowledged paternity of the four twins and publicly embraced them as part of his family. Cheryl Ford pursued a professional basketball career, notably with the Detroit Shock. Meanwhile, Demetrius Bell pursued football, playing for several NFL teams. Initially estranged from Malone, their relationship improved in 2014, and by 2018, they were in regular contact. 
Reflecting on his past, Malone admitted his mistakes in handling his older children's situations, lamenting the irreplaceable loss of time caused by his actions. Professional Life In the 1985 NBA Draft, Carl Malone was chosen by the Utah Jazz as the 13th overall pick. According to Malone's official NBA biography, had scouts accurately predicted his impact on the NBA, he would have been selected much earlier than 13th in the 1985 NBA draft. Malone was so convinced he would be chosen by the Dallas Mavericks with the 8th pick that he had already rented an apartment in Dallas. However, the Mavericks opted for Detlef Schrempf instead. Under the coaching of Frank Layden, Malone had a solid rookie season, averaging 14.9 points and 8.9 rebounds per game. He earned a spot on the 1986 NBA All-Rookie Team and came in third for Rookie of the Year votes. Notably, on January 14, 1986, Malone played a pivotal role in the Jazz's victory over the Houston Rockets, breaking the Rockets' 20-game home winning streak by scoring 29 points. Throughout his early years with the Jazz, Malone emerged as a key player, leading the team in scoring and rebounding. By the 1987-88 season, he became the cornerstone of the team's offense, while John Stockton orchestrated the plays. Malone's stellar performance earned him his first All-Star game appearance in 1988, where he led the Western Conference All-Star team with 22 points. Despite their success, the Jazz fell short in the playoffs, losing to the Los Angeles Lakers in a hard-fought series. Malone's dominance continued into subsequent seasons, as he consistently ranked among the league's top scorers and rebounders. In the 1988 offseason, he signed a lucrative 10-year contract with the Jazz. With Jerry Sloan taking over as head coach, Malone's scoring average soared to 29.1 points in the 1988-89 season, earning him his first NBA All-Star MVP award. In the following seasons, Malone's scoring prowess only grew, culminating in a career-high 61-point game in January 1990. He maintained his dominance, leading the Jazz in scoring and guiding them to multiple playoff appearances. Despite his individual achievements, Malone faced criticism for a flagrant foul incident in 1991. Throughout the 1990s, Malone continued to excel, earning numerous accolades and leading the Jazz to their first Western Conference Finals appearance in 1992. Despite setbacks, such as a loss to the Houston Rockets in the playoffs, Malone remained a consistent force on the court. In the 1994-95 season, the Jazz achieved a milestone with 60 wins, but their playoff run ended in disappointment with another loss to the Rockets. Despite the team's success, Malone's contract renewal in 1996 signaled a period of frustration as the Jazz fell short in the Western Conference Finals in subsequent years, losing to teams like the Portland Trailblazers, Houston Rockets, and Seattle Supersonics. Following a triumphant return from the 1996 Summer Olympics with a gold medal, Malone spearheaded the Jazz's charge to consecutive NBA Finals appearances. In the 1996-97 season, Malone showcased a reinvigorated performance, averaging 27.4 points per game while steering the Jazz to a record-breaking 64-18 season. This marked the franchise's highest tally of regular season victories to date. Alongside clinching his inaugural NBA Most Valuable Player accolade, Malone led the Jazz to dominance in the Western Conference, ultimately securing the conference championship. After dispatching the Los Angeles Clippers and the Los Angeles Lakers, the Jazz faced off against the Houston Rockets, prevailing in six games, with a decisive last-second shot by Stockton sealing the victory. Malone's long-awaited entry into the NBA Finals in 1997 pitted him against the Chicago Bulls led by Michael Jordan. Despite a rocky start, including Malone's struggles in Game 2, the Jazz rallied back, clinching victories in Games 3 and 4, with Malone's pivotal contributions. Yet, the Bulls ultimately emerged victorious, clinching the series in six games, partly due to Malone's struggles from the foul line. The subsequent season witnessed a continuation of the Jazz's dominance, with Malone delivering stellar performances, narrowly missing out on a second MVP title to Jordan. However, the Jazz boasted the NBA's best record at 62-20, securing another Western Conference crown. Their path to the 1998 Finals saw them sweep past formidable opponents, including the Rockets, Spurs, and Lakers. 
In a rematch against the Bulls, Malone and the Jazz claimed Game 1, but faced formidable defensive pressure from Rodman and Pippen. Despite Malone's standout performance in Game 5, contributing 39 points to a crucial victory, the Jazz fell short in Game 6, allowing the Bulls to secure their third consecutive championship. In subsequent seasons, Malone continued to lead the Jazz, despite challenges including team declines and personal injury. His tenure with the Jazz saw notable achievements, including surpassing Wilt Chamberlain in all-time scoring during the 2002-2003 season. However, after 2003, Malone departed from the Jazz, ending a legendary partnership with Stockton and pursuing a brief stint with the Los Angeles Lakers in pursuit of an elusive NBA title. Despite a promising start with the Lakers, Malone's hopes of securing a championship were dashed by a knee injury and defeat in the 2004 NBA Finals against the Detroit Pistons. Following his retirement from professional basketball in 2005, Malone remained involved in the sport, transitioning to coaching roles, including a return to the Utah Jazz as a big man coach in 2013. His illustrious career and contributions to basketball were further celebrated with inductions into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and the retirement of his jersey number by the Utah Jazz. Additionally, Malone left a lasting legacy through his Olympic triumphs and coaching endeavors, further solidifying his status as a basketball icon. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.